Adam, we are go for fight number five. The second of our title fights of the evening. This one for the Bantamweight MMA title between hometown hero Tommy Cheese Park of the Mad Hatters and Tom Hines of the Raspberry Eight Mill Hill BJJ team. How do you see this one going? I don't know. This is a really evenly matched bout. Uh, Tommy's probably Tommy's biggest test today. Um, Tom Hines coming from amazing credentials over with uh, Daniel Strauss and the Raspberry Eight team. So even in the grappling exchange, he's going to know what he's doing. Cheese coming in heavy with uh, big shots there, nice head movement. Nice head movement there by Tom Hines as well. Even body, even body wise, if you look at their body types, both very similar builds. Both guys respecting each other's power already. We call Tommy Clark the hometown hero, but a lot of his uh, fans here are from the borough of London. Oh, quite a knee lander there. And a good high kick as well. Tommy found a good success with that. Yeah, he's been working on his striking relentlessly. Obviously, most people going into this know that he's got decent grappling predictions. He's a bit of a, a grappling submission sniper. So, I think to, to throw his opponents off a bit, he's been working on his striking Tommy looking to get this down to the ground. Tom Hines with butterfly hooks in here with two overhooks. Literally right in front of us for the action here. Tommy needs to try and get this uh, overhook off of his left arm so he can start landing some ground and pound and push her up. He's just holding on here, not really doing much with the position, but frustrating Tommy nonetheless. Tommy looking so close to him now, so he's not getting away from the hit that nice around him. Great dribble across from up there. There we go, he's ste oh, no, he stepped over into the man. I can't see that he's done that. Nice one of the legs, I think Tommy probably didn't want to take a half guard. Yeah, straight back to back guard. Good job there by Tommy. Tommy across from up there. Giving up his back though as he jumps, it's a bad idea against the Clark. Can't quite see he's under the chin, no. Body triangle is on though. Can he land some good shots? Yeah, looking to soften his opponent up so he can perhaps get an arm under the chin and finish this with a submission. Good hammer fist there by Tommy. Tom doing a good job of surviving on the bottom though. He needs to try and get back to his feet and strip Tommy off his back. And will Tommy look to get rid of that body triangle and flatten him out or just go for the submission? Like as you said it, flattens him out. I can't quite see he's under the chin from this angle. And he's in the mount position now, landing down the car. Yeah, great job tying, but of course he's still being mounted, still having good shots landed on him. Gives his back up again, Tommy recovers, two hooks in. Oh, and that's under the chin now, I can see that from here. Flattens him out again. And he taps! Wow! Well done to the cheese, the crowd goes wild. A new Apocalypse Fight Series bantamweight title holder, Tommy Cheese Clark. London Town going crazy behind us, if you can hear. Great show of respect for the fighting games. It's something that's always tested in the Apocalypse. I love respect for the two fighters. Tommy Clark calling for the belt there. Well done to Tom Hines, though. That goes to show the grappling credentials of young Tommy Clark as well. But like Tom Hines is no joke on the ground. To, uh, to dominate him on the floor like that, sub in the first round. Props to Tommy Clark. Great, great submission. And recovery from missing one submission, maintaining the position, not sort of scrambling erratically and just sniping that second submission. Great fight. Great finale event to uh, pop the of the very first round in favor of your work.